Hello, this is Mike with Orange Tech Computers in Orange Park, Florida, making a second video about the ASUS X540S, X551, and probably the X500 series uh, notebook password reset, or actually BIOS password reset, both administrator and the user password. Um, this is what it looks like. So. I'm going to turn this on. When I go to power this on, you might be getting, um, you might be getting this pass. Now I'm hitting the F2 because normally you hit the F2 uh, when you powered on to get into the BIOS, but you powered on and it, and it basically comes up asking for a password, uh, and you can't get by that. Now if I just hit enter um, without typing anything on this one, it goes right to the BIOS. Um, it goes right to the BIOS. You can't really see that too well. Um, anyways, um, I'll make this real brief and short, so I just powered it off again. Now, um, I purposely set an admin password uh, so I can uh, kind of go through this. Now, if it's the admin password that you forgot and you can't boot into Windows, I saw a YouTube video where the person hit enter, uh, got into the BIOS, and just went right to... Um, exit uh, security um, there it says admin password status installed user password status not installed um, he went right to exit and save save changes and exit uh, or he may have even discarded changes and exit um, but when he hit enter and he did that it just went right into windows and once you got into windows uh, a lot of people um, said hey that's great i got right into windows and then from there, uh, there were some videos about how to reset the admin password. Um, I'm going to actually uh, talk about the user password, which is actually a little bit harder. I guess the admin password, you can reset it without pulling the battery or taking it apart to get to the battery. Um, the user password, uh, they're saying you have to take it apart to remove the battery, and you don't. You don't really have to do that at all. Uh, when it comes up and it gives you that password to enter, you hit Alt F2. And I'll kind of show you here in a minute uh, when this when I can reboot this uh, what that screen is. But when you hit, I'm sorry, I said Alt F2. I mean Alt R. Alt R uh, does the recovery. Um, I think I better just show you here. So, uh, anyways, we're just gonna shut this down. Come on. Okay. Shut this down again. Okay. So when you hit power, you power it on. And, you know, I'm going to cause it to come up with that uh, needing a uh, password again. You know, these computers never work when you want them to. Okay. Now, came up saying when you get that, you hit Alt, crying out loud, Alt R, and you're going to, you hit Alt R. And when you hit Alt R, you're going to see that right there. Okay, so it's going to say Enter Recovery Password, and you'll know there's a date. Now I'm going to put a little link down below uh, where you can click on that link, and it'll take you a list of all the ASUS dates and what the uh, Recover Password uh, password is. And you just type that in all caps. And uh, if you don't know the caps lock because the light's not coming on, uh, just try it. Hit the caps lock. Try it. Doesn't work. Uh, do it again and don't hit the caps lock. Anyways, put that in uh, and you just go at the password by the date that's being displayed there. When you type it in and you hit enter, if it just hangs and doesn't do anything, power off, power on, it's cleared. Um, and that's basically how you uh, get past the user password. Uh, also put in the link uh, the date 2120101 because uh, that on that list it only goes I think to 2011. Uh, if you have an ASUS and notebook and you need the uh, admin or username or user BIOS password reset, let me know and I'll look for that date and the password uh, when you're hitting Alt R for the recovery password. And I'll look for what that password to that date is. Uh, but I hope that helps. Oh, uh, one other thing. Uh, also, if nothing works and can't find a password, the Alt R, uh, type it in, the recovery passwords don't work. And you do have to take it apart, and uh, you notice there's not a CMOS battery, and you're thinking, oh, great, and you pull out the battery, and you put it all back together, and it still comes up with that. 
somebody made the comment where when you take it apart and you unplug the battery, uh, to also unplug the hard drive and then hold the power button down for 60 seconds. And I guess that takes all the static charge off the motherboard and then um, put it back together and, and they cleared it that way. So uh, don't be surprised when you take this apart and don't see a CMOS battery. This one didn't have one. Uh, it's just got the battery that's inside, uh, which uh, looks very much like a standard outside notebook battery. So anyways, hope that helps. Uh, post some comments and questions. And if I can uh, make another video with a little bit more information, I will. Thanks.